then we want to move on here i think this is a some due props needs to be given to mr sean witherspoon because it feels like he's been getting a little bit of a bashing on you know sneaker social media because um after his kind of barnstorming uh collaboration with nike for the what was it uh blah, 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 for the for the nike mx ones the 97s right yeah the 97s the ones that were i still think you know they'd go down in history as one of the greatest sort of sneaker collaboration designs in the history of sneakers he did a really great job with these right absolutely smashed them um then we got this sample pair that never ended up coming out unfortunately um and i think there was another one too yeah that paisley one what else was there that you could tear away you know i think that's the same one actually what i'm talking about um that's the same one there was something else as well that was, we saw that was a sample uh let me see if i can get up on it there was another sample too that didn't end up coming out yeah that's the one this is the one as well that didn't end up coming out too i'm pretty sure so we had all these stuff come in and obviously clearly he was enjoying his time at nike posting stuff like this work 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 like just clearly living the dream right for all sneaker heads out there he kind of was living we we're living by KFC for him especially f considering how popular his um round two vintage shop was and him personally on social media but whatever happened between sean and nike happened he got dropped like a hot potato and then he had to slam it over at adidas and the collaborations over there weren't the greatest right they kind of looked a bit dead compared to the stuff that obviously he did at nike and one of the most striking ones was obviously this superstar right and this superstar and this super and the same one so and this super star, right? but just to, like from going from that 97 that he did to that it's just it's always going to end and especially this zx as well oh my god so they were really really bad compared to what he did previously now of course the one thing i'd give this guy credit for most more so than others he at least tries to approach his sneaker collaborations with some sort of freshness he comes at it with a different sort of perspective and he has a very discernible point of view when it comes to what he kind of likes in terms of design like you could spot the same with that Salili Bembry guy after he did the Crocs. I'm sure you could spot a Salili Bembry collab from a mile away, regardless of what the brand is. You'll be able to spot it because he has a particular aesthetic, a particular code or particular codes that he used when he's designing. Same way it goes with Sean Weatherspoon. He does really well in that regard. But um, there's one thing of being, you know, uh, taking risks and maybe trying to push the envelope some bit and there's also just straight up designing ugly shoes that no one wants to wear and unfortunately the proof was in the pudding and the customer spoke and I, I saw these on sale in more places than I've ever seen any collaboration ever in the history of man the only other collaboration I've seen on sale to this extent have been like the what's it is it the Yoon Amb or the ambush dunks are they ambush dunks those are the only things I've seen on sale like crazy and crazy amounts it ambush Nike ambush dunk is that the one I'm talking about? The one that looks like kind of bat wings? Is it Ambush? Also, I said the album. Nike Ambush Dunk. Is that the one I'm talking about? Yeah, it is this. Yeah, I've seen this on sale plenty of places, right? Variations of this Ambush Dunk, which kind of have these exaggerated proportions, has this weird little kind of mud guard back hill thing. The swoosh kind of pops out. I don't know. I mean, I think whatever. They don't look that impressive to me. But these were the ones i saw and sell every flipping way and unfortunately for sean they just didn't hit us the uh, right then you got these trail ones that are meant to be for hiking i'm assuming if you live what in uh, in i don't know what sort of hikes you're meant to take these shoes on maybe if you live somewhere in la i think the, the best color obviously was these and this is the what uh sean Weatherspoon atmos adidas super turf adventure gwa810 yo New Balance, no New Balance. Um, Sukorni, Adidas, you need to look at how you name your shoes, man, because the names are too long. They're just simply too long. You don't need all the Super Turf Adventure GWAA10, like enough. You could just call them the Super Turf 8s or the Super Turf Adventure GW8. So whatever, just shorten it a little bit. Take away the adventure, Super Turf Adventure, whatever. It's too much, too many words, too many fucking words. But again, the, these shoes were all terrible. Um, you know, God bless him, but... He has come back with an absolute barnstormer. We have to give this guy credit. With the same aesthetic still with this sort of flowers, with the tearaway thing. I'm sure there's something to do with it. But regardless, in terms of just plain aesthetic and look, without him giving me a one sheet of why they look this way, these look great. Like, I have to admit, these look really, really nice. And it's no surprise, too. It's an EQT, one of my favorite models. And from Adidas, I think I've got, 
I had a couple, but unfortunately, you know, I bought them in a, I just, I, I did that wrong thing where I kind of tried to use the same sizings that I used for Nike and Adidas. And obviously they ended up being way too small, even without the insole. But I think these Sean Weatherspoons, Adidas, EQT Support 93, Super Earth, again, the names are too long, um, is another really good one to add to a list of Sean Weatherspoon collaborations. Of course, he's wearing a Noah hoodie. And of course, he's standing out, you know, in front of a flipping Peloton, of course. Um, but regardless, the shoes do look good. Um, maybe this is his redemption arc. I'm glad to see him doing um, well in that regard because I still think he's incredibly talented. I still think he's got an incredibly eye, good eye. I still think his taste and his perspective or his outlook or his kind of, you know, the way he kind of approaches um, sneakers is really needed, especially considering how boring everyone else's collaborations are or how reductive and how samey they are. I think it's nice to have somebody that's out there pushing the envelope, regardless of what, you know, finding these people say online, he's at least pushing the envelope. And again, if you're a fan of his, you're going to back this sort of stuff. So it's also a good thing because he's not trying to play it safe. He's just trying to appeal to the people that like the kind of stuff that he's into or like the stuff that he makes. And that's about it. I really, really do appreciate that. So um no date no idea oh, no there is a date here no no there isn't a date there's no date so there's lots of text loads of fluff no date we don't know when they're going to come out but these sean weather spoons um sean Web wover spoon wover spoon they say his name wover spoon right adidas eqt support 93 super earth look really good the name is too long but you know it is what it is 